All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to move a uh, ball around a shape in KOWP using complex animations. This is just going to be one animation, but we're going to have a series of animations inside of that complex animation. And um, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. We're going to, I'm going, I got my smart notebook opened up over here to show you, uh, you know, to get the math across to you. And let's just go ahead and start from scratch. So I'm going to add a shape and I'm going to do it the same way here. We can do other shapes. I will be doing those in the future because there is a slightly different mathematics involved with it. But I'm going to add this as just a template. Okay. I'm going to add a square. And what I want to make sure I understand here is that I want to uh, notice the width of this square. So it's going to be 400 pixels, if you will, all the way around. And I'm going to position this square in the center and I'm just going to adjust the color a little bit. So something like that. That way I can still see it, but I'm going to... All right, so what did I just do there? I made a square. This is important in understanding really what's going on here. All right, so there's our square. Same square. Of course, this is a little bit bigger, but this is going to be for teaching purposes. Now, what I want to do is I want, I'm just going to put a circle right here in this top left-hand corner. You can pick whatever corner you want, but I'm going to pick that one. All right, and you can pick whatever shape you want to, by the way, but I'm just going to add that circle, pretty much recreating the same thing we just uh, you just saw at the beginning of the tutorial. So I'm going to do a circle and whatever size I want doesn't really matter here. And I'm just going to go to paint and I'm going to set this to, let's go a different color. Let's go red. No, I know what I want to do. Carolina blue. <laughs> go heels. All right. So what do we want to do with this? Position it at the center of the screen. Now some things to note. Okay. How big was my square? It was 400 pixels, right? 400 custom pixels. Well, what we want to do is if I want this circle, I want to put it up here. I want the center of this circle to meet the corner of that uh, square right there. So I need to bump over 200 because that's half of 400, right? So notice it's kind of centered vertically. And now if we bump this up, that's going to put us the center of this circle pretty much right in the center of that square. Now, let's think of this ordered pair. Here we go with a little bit of math, but this is going to help. Let's think of this as being 0, 0, all right? That's this corner right here. Now, if we want to come over here to this side, over here to this corner, what are we really doing? We're sliding over 400 on our X. Now, X, Y, so ordered pairs, X, comma Y, don't forget that. So always think X comma Y when you're dealing a little bit of algebra. Now, what we're doing there is we're changing our X value from 0 to 400, but we're not changing the Y value. Very important. Trust me, you will see that right here in a second. Well, what about down here? Now, this is where the, the math's going to get a little bit confusing, but what I want to do here, I'm still ha I still have my same X value. I'm still over the same distance to my right. And you may say, well, we want to go down 400, right? Because remember, our square was 400 by 400. That's what I made this gray square over here. But what I'm going to do here, you have to mess around with your signs, but actually I need to use a positive 400 in terms of custom. So this is going to be 400 comma 400. Now, what's going to be the order pair over here on this side? So what's changing now? The Y value is going to stay at 400, but my X value is going to be zero. Now, this is what we have to define in our custom or complex animation. So now that we have the circle set up where we want, let's just go ahead and add that animation. And I'm going to set it on loop for right now. Now, obviously, this is not doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to go to action. That's where your custom or complex animation is located. And let's go ahead and set ease to straight. Um, we, we, you can mess around with that if you want, but straight's going to keep it nice and uniform. And then also we want to talk about percents. So that's something else I want to mention as well. Um, for the first 25% of my animation, for the first one fourth of my animation, I want it to go from here to here. All right. And then the next 25%, which gives me half of my animation. So when I'm halfway through my animation, I want to be here. Trust me, all this is going to help right here in a second. And then the next 25%, which is going to give me 75%, I want to be over here. You can mess around with these percentages if you want. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this. And then right back here, this is going to be 0 and 100%. This is what's going to give me a, a complete loop. And you're not going to see anything 
uh, what am I trying to say here? You're not going to see any, any jumps or jitters. It's just going to be completely smooth, bumping around all four sides of this square. And it's going to be a uniform speed because essentially these percentages represent the percentage of your animation time. Well, my animation time, I'm going to bump it up to uh, four seconds. So the first second, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. But it's going to be nice and straight and there's going to be no uh, E. It's going to be a consistent speed. Now, again, you can mess around with those settings if you want. Well, what we have to do is we have to um, input this into this CSS3 kind of thing. So I'm inside of my complex animation. Again, I did click on uh, animator right there. So I'm going to go to plus. And what do we want? So at 0%, where do I want my X to be? You don't have to do this, but I'm going to be thorough with this because I think it's going to help you understand how it really works. So at 0%, I want my X value to be at 0. At 0%, I also want my Y value. Offsets represent like the position, so to speak. So position X and Y, they're both at 0 at the beginning. For 25%, this is where I was messing up, and I'm going to show you what happens now let me just base it off this x and this y so at 25 percent my x offset not scale x offset needs to be at 400 now why am i picking 400 again that was the width of my square so i want to move over 400 pixels this way if it's moving the wrong way try a negative sign that'll fix your problem but also notice what else I have. I have to define this. I have to define this. I don't want my Y value to change. I want that dot to go from here to here. That's just a right movement. That's not an up or down movement. You have to tell custom, hey, for the first 25%, I don't want to change my Y value. Well, how do we do that? We just come and set Y offset to that Y value right there of zero. So I think these ordered pairs really do help. So notice I got X zero, Y zero at zero percent. At 25 percent, I have X is at 400, Y is at zero. It's matching that order pair there. And now let's continue this process. Hey, okay, I'll tell you what. Let me just check this and watch what's happening. Boom, okay, boom. It's doing that. Okay, now you might say it's pausing. Well, our animation is four seconds long. This is taking one second and then it pauses for three seconds because we don't have anything else going on. That's important to understand. Let's go ahead and add our 50% piece. So I'm going to do these ordered pairs down here now. So 50%. Um, what do we want the X to be? We want the X to be 400. And we also want the Y offset to be 400. Okay, first important piece. Now this is gonna work, it's gonna go one second and then another second. This should work just fine. And let's let it redo its thing. So one 1,000, two 1,000. See how, I mean, it's just straight up, same speed, consistent and everything. Now, where was I making mistakes? I was thinking, okay, well, all I really wanna do here is I wanna move down. So really, it, this is where I was messing up. Maybe you, maybe you understand this, but I understand it now. But if I delete that X offset, because one would think, hey, for when to get to fifty percent, all I want to do is change my Y offset. And, and you're exactly right. Um, is that going to change anything here? Let's see what happens. Didn't change anything, did it? Well, watch this. If I come back into our complex animation. And I go and work on my 75% piece. One would think at 75%, all we have to do is change our X value back to zero. So X offset, set it to zero. Because think about this, we're going right, we're going down, and now we want to go back to zero because we're looking at the order pairs, X. We want to put our X value back at zero. Now watch what's going to happen here. This is going to be all crazy because I got rid of this one little ordered pair right here, the X value right there. Watch what happens. It's going to be okay at the beginning. See what's happening? See how it's dodging that corner in the bottom right-hand corner right there? Well, how do we fix that? That's why it's important to tell custom, hey, when I get down to here, I want my X to be 400 and I want my Y to be 400. If you do not tell it that you want both the X and Y to be 400, here's what's going to happen. From 25% to 75%, it's going to move at 25% our X position is 400 and at 75% our X position is at zero. There is nothing telling custom, hey, go ahead and jump right now. Start moving from 400 to zero for that X value because there's nothing telling it otherwise. Whereas recall, I did originally have an X value of 400 right here. So I need to add that back. 
I'm going to go put 50% uh, X offset 400. So let me add that. Now I have my X and my Y. Sure, they're mixed up. I can't rearrange them, um, but hopefully you get the idea here. Well, let me just, uh, this is me being OCD. So let me come here and put these in order. Of course, you don't have to do that. That is just totally me being crazy. But now notice I'm matching my order pair. So it's important to look at these order pairs and understand it. Well, do I need another order pair down here? Yes, you do. And if you don't put this Y offset here, what's going to happen? It's, it's going to start doing something like this. Instead of it doing like this, you see my mouse right now? It's going boom, boom. Instead of it doing boom, boom, if you don't put that Y value down here, it's going to do something like this, and it's going to curve up through the inside of your uh, square there. So let's come here, 75%. Let's add a new one. And uh, something you may not notice, but a little trick. If you want to get inside of one of these percentages real quick, like if I wanted to get to 25%, I would click on it. I save, and I click plus, and it's automatically got me set at 25%. Um, just just a little fun fact, I guess. Maybe you'll use it, maybe you won't. But right here, I want to get to my 75% real quick. So I'm going to click on my 75% piece, save it, and I'm going to go to plus. Notice I'm set to 75%. So what do I want to change here? I want to change my Y offset. What's my Y value down here? 400. Let's add it. So now notice our order pairs. And now let's just say, okay, we got to finish this thing off. We're 75% of our way through the animation. Let's go ahead and make this 100%. And what do we want going on here? We want X and Y to both be zero. So we need to do both of them. And this is what's going to give you that complete loop um, where we're not cutting any corners. So my X offset is zero. And now let's add our Y offset as zero. And if I add this, we should be good to go. And as you can see, it is going around this square perfectly. And if I just save this, go back to the home screen. So it's taking, okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four seconds, right? So if we come back into KOWP to that custom animation, but not just come down here to the duration, if we bump this down to two, each piece is going to take a half a second now because it's half a second, half a second, half a second, half a second. You may say, well, how can I change my speeds? I'm going to talk about more about that in future videos. You can come in here and adjust these percentages, but you have to make sure you keep your ordered pairs in the same group to get this square effect. You may say, well, can I go around triangles? Can I go around hexagons? You can, uh, me thinking right now, you can go around any shape you want <laughs> uh, with this complex animation thing. It's pretty freaking sweet. I'm excited about it. This is just video two of many to come. And there you have it. That's how you can make a shape uh, or yeah, make a circle or any shape, go around some other shape in a consistent loop. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.